G'day everyone, Uncle Joey Jojo here. Great to see you all again. I am super duper excited. Today we have got uh, some strip footings that are in place in an existing house that are bluestone. We've talked a number of times before about foundations and what was existing in an old house. And today I finally got the opportunity to show you guys strip footings that are bluestone and the way they have moved the foundations over the years. And so step this way and ch 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 check it out. Here we've got bluestone. This is all bluestone here. We've got the wall plate sitting on top of this. This house here is around about 100, 110 years old. It was built on the turn um, of the 1900s and it would have been just before, give or take, the First World War. A lot of these you can see here a lot of these uh, studs run well past and then the plate, which is a bottom plate, sits on top of the strip footing, the bluestone strip footing. The bluestone goes all the way through and then follows it all the way around. See this? All the way around, bluestone, bluestone. This here must have been a walkway originally and it's been changed and we've got a stump under there. The stump's under here. Again, you can see my stud work here is all sitting on top of the bearer, not actually on top of a wall plate, onto the studs. Hallway, we've got all of this strip footing, all bluestone, all the way through. Here, we've got bluestone. Look at this, bit of wire just stuck on the floor. I always talk about, you've probably seen a video before, we talk about if you do a renovation or an extension and you are not sure about the wiring, get it cut off by a registered licensed electrician. For the safety of anybody and everybody that works on site, all the electricals disconnected. I don't have to worry about it at all. Strip footing runs all the way through. Look at this one. This is red gum this is red gum here and this here is the stud it's almost completely rotted through here sitting straight on top of the brick so there's no moisture barrier at all between those two it's been touched up before i can tell you that also here because there's a secondary bearer put in away from the wall and it's picking up the ends of all of these joists but these joists are all being replaced you can see these ob's are all fairly new probably about 30 years old. Here we've got uh, borer, signs of borer running through the timber and signs of termites also running through this timber. That's a blue, that's a red gum here sitting on top of the blue stone. We flip over to here and you can see this spot here is the old fireplace. Over the last 200 years we've built almost exactly the same. Front two rooms on a place like this is, and this is called a miner's cottage, a bedrooms with a back-to-back -back fireplace. So that's a, a fireplace that has a fireplace, sorry, an open fire in both bedrooms and a cast iron surround. Then we've got the hallway. We would have come down this hallway into the living room and this would have back to backed into the kitchen. The kitchen itself would have been on the other side of the, this wall and would have been a small kitchen and then from there we would have had um, the outhouse and the laundry outside. So all of these inner city um, houses or, or, or miners cottages were consistently built almost the exact same way. There's a lot in New South Wales that I've seen in the, in the Sydney area, Surrey Hills, that kind of area that are very similar to this as well where we've got two, no more than three rooms, living room. You'd have an entire family living inside that house. Actually, there, I believe there's one of the oldest, or sorry, I believe there is the oldest colonial house in Australia, up in New South Wales at the Rocks in, in, in Sydney, right near the Sydney Harbour. I'll find that out and I'll get back to you on that. And hopefully we can get a video done on that. I digress. So. Right here, we would have had a chimney. The chimney would have continued all the way up through the roof. And then we've got a pitched roof that goes into that. So obviously they've pulled this chimney down and they've extended this house outwards. This is all a fairly brand new build all the way through. This chimney over here was the one that was pulled out from the front room. 
The only thing that I can see that we can do here is actually dig out all the soil. Here we've got all this soil and you can see that the soil is almost touching this bearer. So I need to have a minimum of 150 to 200 mil of soil removed from this room. You can see that one is actually touching the floor altogether over there. So we'll hand dig all this area out, rip all of these joists up, rebuild this whole section in the front half of the house. The back half of the house just completely gets pulled down and, and we'll rebuild that, hand pitch the roof, etc. Just step up this way. <clears throat> Here's the other master bedroom again, fireplace. Uh, you can see here the stone. It's actually sitting on stone here. You can see all the way along this side. Here, blue stone footing, stone footing. And the wall plate, there you go, there's nothing underneath this wall plate whatsoever. That's actually sitting straight on top of the stone. The timber itself is actually held up pretty well. That is, that's a really good sign of the strength of the timber. You can see here, that's not gonna hold anything. So we'll rip up again, we'll rip up all of these joists all the way through. Just here, there's the bearer. And then underneath that, you can see, we've got some concrete stumps. They would have been done probably around about 20, 25 years ago. I wouldn't say much more than that. Going by the age of the actual stump and going by the, the mole for it on top. Okay, so look at this. It's kind of like pulling out a tooth. No, can't get it out. So we've got red gum there, blue stone there. That's our foundations. There's some history lessons for you. That's the building lessons for you. If you've got any questions or queries, please send them over. Thanks for watching and till next time, stay awesome. See you next time, bye bye.